Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband. I'm glad you're stopping by to visit me tonight. Michelle and I, and Kaylin, that's the family we got because it's just the three of us. And when it comes to Christmas time and shopping, Michelle and I for each other, each year we opt more than not to buy things for the home or whatever and, and buy a few things that we wouldn't necessarily buy throughout the rest of the year. Now all the things we buy are practical, but at any rate. And let me also say this, this might be the last year we need to do this. Now, there's a few things that might change that could, that would affect that and cause that to not be the case. But for right now, I just wanna show you what a few of the things we got. And there's a couple of gifts here too that I can safely show you. They're going for a couple of dear ladies here in the building that uh, we have befriended. They befriended us. They're uh, seniors, but nice women. So let me get rid of that. This one here, I've already got open. And I want to tell you right up front, they all came from the shopping channel. They're all temptations, temptations, uh, cookware, bakeware, whatever you want to call it and we love them when i bake when i cook myself i love to use them they they bake evenly they're just really good dishes the thing that impresses me the most always is how easily they clean up they're just beautiful so i'm going to show you these first and i've got them all back in the box this box actually has been open and there's styrofoam broken styrofoam all over the place here but it's these little dishes they're bigger than a ramekin but they're like a, a mini pie dish or maybe you'd call it a tart dish I don't know but in each one of them there's a recipe I'll try to show that and they're different recipes pumpkin pie apple pie um, this is the apple pie when they're all red you're gonna detect a theme here the apple pie and a cherry pie. Ooh, and a chocolate chip pecan pie. If you can see that. So, two of them, as I said, are gifts. I'm just going to get these out of the road. So, this is the next box. Now I remember what it is. This is a gift for us. I got my trusty pocket knife. Come on, you. Christmas will soon be upon us. And after that, we got to get some serious business going here, which we'll talk about. They are always very well, very well packed. This is a quiche pan. Temptations. Do you know, you in the U.S. of A. have an awful lot of patterns that we're unable to get here. Um, but these, I don't know whether you, it's, it's blue, as you, I guess you can see it pretty good there, hand painted, and obviously we could use this for a lot more than just quiche, but what a beautiful dish. So, that's the second one. And you know, with a pocket knife, they have to be sharpened all the time. If you use it, I use mine almost every day. And you have to do a lot of sharpening. So, I do not want to 
Now these are very nice. Very nice. First off, a very large soup spoon. <laughs> now, a spoon rest. We actually haven't had a spoon rest for a little while because, well, just because. So this is very nice. It's a great size. Now, also, bowls. Look at that. We have some other stuff in this same color and pattern. Uh, I'm all boy, but I like to bake too. And these are just, this may be more of a serving bowl or a mixing bowl. I could certainly see using that for a lot of things. And as you can probably quite clearly tell, the opening. These bowls nest and I don't know if it says how big they are on the bottom of them or not but it does two quart. This is a two quart bowl so if I had to make an educated guess I'd say that's a one quart and this one here is quite clearly a three quart. Now we have another nice, really nice set of mixing bowls. There's five of them, but they're a little deeper and the sides are quite straight. So if you're using the large one to mix in and you're using the handheld beater, you almost have to have it at a bit of an angle because they're so deep. But aren't these lovely? Obviously they'll have to be washed, but they're beautiful and they're a nice addition to the set. So. That's, uh, that's the big reveal on these. And you're probably not as excited as we are, but they're lovely and my wife deserves nice things. So, right, as much as anybody does. So my wife will get her some nice things. So stay tuned, there's a bit more. We're gonna, I'm just gonna talk for a few minutes about a couple of things. So stay tuned if you would, please. Here's what I wanna talk to you about for a few minutes. Today, I'm gonna to say the date at recording. It's December the 14th, and we're getting into, well, it's nine o'clock at night, five after. Uh, I went into Costco today. I had to go in for an eye exam. But one of the things, and you've heard us talk about them before, because Michelle takes Advil, we buy them at Costco. The Kirkland brand Advil, and that's what we'll call them, you know what I mean? The Kirkland brand is by far the best buy. Like, you get 120 pills now for $9.99 plus tax. And you can't, like if you bought 120 brand named Advil, you would pay like not necessarily at Costco, they're priced a little better, but if you bought 120 at Walmart, you'd pay 40 or $50 probably. But here's the kicker. The last few times I've gone in and looked for Advil, they haven't had. I say that. One time out of four, I went in and they had some and I got some, but today they did not have again. I went to our local Walmart the week that her and I were both sick and it was absolutely frightening. No children's medication at all. And I think Michelle has a couple of pictures. I had taken a few, but for whatever reason, I'd lost the pictures. But it was absolutely frightening to see the shelves. And it's the children's stuff is especially hard hit. But now, as you can see, or we're getting into the adult stuff as well, because it's a lot of the same ingredients, just different combinations obviously and they're pulling some of the adult stuff away or the stuff they use for the adults to get them into the kids because people clear across Canada are in quite an uproar with good reason I mean we're into uh, 
flu season here by six weeks now and ordinarily it doesn't does not start until after christmas but we're in it full on and there's people dying and everything and of course i have a theory as to why there's escalated numbers of people dying from the flu and all of that but that's neither here nor there for this video 800 medications shortages in canada apparently there's shortages in the uk and european nations i've heard specifically the uk and i might be wrong but i don't think so i think that's pretty good information and the united states is now getting some pretty serious medication shortages as well as food shortages so i guess the point to all of this is here we're not seeing massive food, sh food shortages yet it's random things you'll go in uh, i go into our walmart here which is just around the corner i go in there one trip and there'll be like bare shelves uh, no baked goods flowers and stuff like that and the next time i go in that stuff will be mostly stocked up or if not completely stocked up to be in all honest about it but it's random it used to be that it was always stocked all the time everything but the fact that there's sporadic shortages here or there tell us that um there's supply chain interruptions, I guess is the term we would use for it. All of this to say, I don't know about the rest of you, but we've kind of put the brakes on our, our store because Christmas. And I'm saying that if you're doing that as well, I don't blame you. We're not millionaires, that's for sure. But after Christmas, if at all possible, get back at it. I don't want to be a naysayer or a doomsday predictor. I'm not. I have my theories and I'm going to talk about my theory on the other channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go check me out. Uh, Michelle will put a link either there or there. And I invite you to come watch that as well. But things are rather frightening also i'm just going to touch on this a little bit our uh, government is really acting in a way that is not in the interest of the canadian citizens that's just it's just a fact they are pushing some very bad legislation and i fully expect they'll get away with it and once again, I'm going to hit more on that on my other channel, the new channel. But uh, if you're Canadian, you have without a doubt heard what the uh, Liberal government and their ne'er-do-well followers have come up with in the last couple of weeks. And that is scary because no good will come of it. And we won't get into the, I, the, the semantics of it. But also, the supplies that you need for those things that they're trying to outlaw, and they will outlaw, are probably going to get real scarce because of events all around the world, or should I say, across the pond, are going to pull from some of the resources, I think, that we get our supply from once we get this Christmas season behind us the masses are still sleeping they're still sleeping and you got to get a jump on them because once they get awoke once they come to once they realize what's happening you're not gonna be able to get anything so get your baking supplies get a stash of water get that water purification, whatever it is, supposing it's just iodine tablets. Um, learn how to purify water with bleach and whatnot. It's not, it's not real complicated, but, and I mean, I, have, I, can't, I couldn't just give you the method of doing it right here. I've read it and I've watched a video or two on it. And 
realistically, it's not that complicated, but you got to have a little bit of equipment. Get yourself set up, and I'm going to do another things you need video in the very near future. It will be after Christmas at this point, but and at any rate, pedal to the metal, get stocked up because tough times are coming. And now we're into cold weather. Um, we had our coldest night two nights ago and we had our first significant snow today. And it was only like this much, but it was our first real more than just flurries in the air. And it caused a lot of panic and pandemonium on the road. So um, cold weather adds an extreme degree of difficulty. So I don't want to sound like a doomsday prophet. I'm not a prophet, I'm not even the son of a prophet. But anyway, if you watch this far, we're going to keep our chins up. Know that there is a better way and a better day coming. And we'll work towards it. So anyway, if you have watched this long, know that I appreciate you. I hope, and you know, I'll make another video or two before Christmas, but I'm going to say it right now. I hope that you and yours are going to have a very, very good holiday. And a Merry Christmas. I'm a Christmas, Merry Christmas person, so... God bless. Bye for now.